Hey guys, welcome back to the channel in the 2008 EasyGo RXV rebuild. In the last video, we took apart pretty much all of the golf cart's bodywork and uh, non-essential frame parts. And in this video, we're gonna try and get the body pan off, uh, the rear bumper off, and that pan off so we can access the frame and begin the rust repair process. Uh, but today, I am still waiting on a bunch of parts and tools to uh, fix the, to get these pans out. So in the meantime, we are going to get to work sort of disassembling the uh, brake part of the motor. It's an electric brake right there. I just three bolts that hold on. I'm going to take that off and we're going to use it for the new motor, which I probably will order tonight. Another thing that we have to do in this video is clean a bunch of these parts over here. These are all the bodywork panels that go after I've taken them off. We also, maybe even today, are going to disassemble this get that ready for the rear seat install and yeah let's get to work okay as you can see I have removed the brake off the motor uh, the brake is now here it's pretty heavy as you can see, it's an electric brake. I don't know how it works, but apparently it regenerates electricity and it's pretty good. So that will be interesting to see how that hooks up to the new motor. Uh, yeah, now I'm gonna go and grab my drill and get to work on disassembling the uh, rear seat. Okay, it is a few days later. Uh, yesterday, I ran to the auto parts store and picked up some of this uh, stuff that should loosen our bolts. So I'm gonna get to work doing that. And then I also got some more tools. I got these wire brush attachments and some uh, undercoating protector right here that we'll use to clean off all the rust. So I'm gonna see if I can try and get this whole floor pan out today. And even that part, and let's get back to work. So it is a few hours later and uh, we have been working really hard and it has been going super slow because despite our best efforts with the uh, uh, big shot stuff that's supposed to free any rusted bolt, doesn't rust, doesn't free this rust. So we're drilling at every bolt. I'm back on, back working on the golf cart. It's been a really frustrating last few days 
trying to get out those four bolts on the brake pedal so we can remove the whole uh, floor pan. However though, I was able to find a way around this by removing a bunch of accessories on the brake pedal. So in theory, I should be able to lift this floor plan right out. So let's get back to work. just saw I was unable to remove the uh, floor plan because of this sort of thing that I also got to remove but it's kind of hard to remove because there is a seized bolt so I'm gonna, just gonna go ahead and drill that out and I will do that and then we'll try and get this floor plan out <music> You can see I finally successfully removed that giant floor plan after uh, manhandling it out of the very tight clearance caused by this thing, which I'm still not able to get off. Uh, I tried to remove that screw or that nut right there. I haven't had any success. Uh, now I may try and do that, or I'll just give it a wash. saw I was able to disassemble that shock but uh, it's not as loose as I want it to be so I have to loosen that bolt right there I don't know if you can see however that bolt is completely seized up and it does not want to loosen so uh, we're probably just gonna have to live with it it's not really worth it I tried to pull it I was lifting up the golf cart and uh, it'll just be fine We'll just ride it a few times, ride a, ride a few potholes that should loosen up the suspension. This thing probably hasn't driven in a while anyways. Rear suspension is looking really good. As you also saw, I was grinding some dirt off from under the uh, a lower A-arms on the suspension. So now what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to lift it back up again. Maybe lift it in a different spot? I don't know. And then I'm going to go ahead and keep grinding on the underside of the body get all that dirt off so then I can move into spraying all the rest affected spots. 
Okay, okay, so it is the next day and I got a lot of parts in today and yesterday. I got the charger, which is right here. That's our charger, which is gonna charge the batteries. I have our rear shocks, which are, we're gonna install. We're gonna install our rear shocks today. Uh, I also got our charging port thingy in there. Another shock, I got some carbon fiber switches. And here I have some switches, that's gonna be for the light lighting system that we'll install probably last. And then I have uh, battery cables in that box. I'm still waiting on a few more parts. I ordered some more last night. And just to compare sizes, this is the new solenoid right here that I got today. And that next to it is the old one. That, this is massive. That just shows you how much more powerful, it, because since we're putting in a much more powerful motor and speed controller, that is what I have to use. I can't use this tiny little thing that's so small compared to that massive solenoid. So uh, I'm gonna walk over here now and I'm going to, today, basically I'm going to uh, take all of that dirt off there and then I'm going to go ahead and install the rear shock and that means our rear suspension will be fully put back together and that's also going to be the first new part on the golf cart. So let's get back to work. Okay, so I'm back to work. I have to modify this bracket in order to fit our larger solenoid right there. So I have to do a few things today on the drill press. This will be the only day that we'll do some machining. So let's get back to work. I drilled the main holes, now I'm going to drill the uh, sort of uh, area that allows the head to countersink into the plate because a speed, the speed controller goes directly on top of them and there is no room so I have to do these countersinking holes. So I finished drilling those holes in, and as you can see, I have now mounted the solenoid to the back of our speed controller and resistor cage mount. So now what I have to do is I have to increase the size of these holes for these wires so they can fit on our uh, larger solenoid screws.
okay as you can now see I've finally gotten those holes wide enough now and I mounted the solenoid onto the plate so now I am going to go and get the whole speed controller and resistor cage remounted and do a final uh, mock-up make sure everything fits and all that on, I, that I don't have to make any changes and then this will be ready to go into the golf cart okay so it is a few days later and I have completed all the grinding of the rust I sprayed all the rust spots with this super clean degreaser over here and now I'm finally ready to try and knock out all of the undercoating today so I have the undercoating it's right here and I'm just going to spray it in all the spots that need rust protection. Okay guys, as you just saw, I finally sprayed all that paint on the rust. All that undercoating is now applied to the chassis. I still have to do a bit more to these pieces right here. They just need to really be flipped over and repainted on the bottom sides because they, they're two-sided pieces and they're not attached to the chassis yet. So that piece and that piece have to be flipped over and repainted. But other than that, the whole chassis has finally been repainted with all that anti-rust stuff. Uh, you can see all the parts have been redone and there are like small small spots of rust like over here that I didn't do because it doesn't really affect it. They're just super tiny. And there's also like some small overspray on the uh, sort of steering rack and then a bit more back on the transaxle case in the rear. But it's nothing major and I'm pretty, I'm really happy considering this is really my first time uh, repainting or respraying something and it went pretty well. So I'm gonna get to respraying these two. The video will probably end here. Uh, next video, I'm going to respray. I'm going to uh, reattach the floor pan and start reassembling, and maybe it will get running for the first time next video. So thanks for watching and bye.